All right, what's up, folks? I wanted to uh, bring you another video of a uh, RV park we recently visited, and uh, it was in July. We went to uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and uh, we visited Gulf State Park. I, w I must say it's one of our favorites right now. It's, it's a beautiful place, beautiful area. We've never really been to that area much, but it's, uh, it's a really beautiful area. The beaches are, are immaculate. And uh, we really enjoyed this state park. They have a, a ton of stuff to offer in the RV park itself. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage of campsites, of RV sites. I'm so sorry. I, I got so excited, I guess. I don't know if I just didn't video or, you know, or either I, I didn't video or I didn't save it, one or the other. I don't know. Nevertheless, I don't have a whole lot of the RV sites, which I really regret that, but I'll probably redo this video because we are going back and uh, going to visit that park again soon. I have a few clips of it, but you know, when you get to a place like that, you're kind of excited and, and want to explore. And, you know, I have a YouTube channel and I just forget the video, which, you know, <laughs> all of us probably do that at some point or another. Just uh, to hit on a few highlights, a few things they have, there's the, the park itself has so much to offer. There's miles of bike trails. I forget how many miles they are, but, you know, they have some non-paved, most of them are paved bike trails and they go through the whole park and uh, bike trails that go across the road. They have a walkway across the road. You don't have to cross the highway to get to the beach area. They have uh, bike rentals. You can rent bikes there. They have a, uh, a, a very nice large pool area and they have a uh, splash pad for the little ones that you know they can play in and you don't have to really worry about them you know, getting in the water in the pool area. But it's uh, a really fun place. At, at night, they have a, uh, a movie night that you can lay on your floats in the pool or out in your lounge chair by the pool and watch a movie. Uh, just, just so much stuff to do, really a family atmosphere type place. They have a nature center. It was closed when we went to it, but we didn't get to go inside. But they have live animals in there exhibits right there in the park a really fun time they've got uh they've got tennis courts if you like to play tennis they've got a basketball goal inside the tennis court area which we had a basketball but we never really got a chance to play it you know i mean we had our grandson through about half of this trip first half it was just me and the wife and uh, uh outside of the park there's so much to do we went on a dolphin cruise. It was a uh, sunset dolphin cruise. You know, just real beautiful through the Bay Area. You know, if you have jet skis, you can jet ski. You can bring your boat. They have a uh, boat launch right there in the park. Uh, they, they do have some sites that are on the water, on the, the Bay Area right there. Not very many of them. And I hate I didn't get any video of that. So I'm sorry, but you know, just take my word for it. It was real, real beautiful. But uh, most of them was kind of, you know, up in the park area. But there's there's not any bad spots that I've seen. You know, some of them are on the main highway going in. They're pull-through sites. Most of them are, are back-end sites, you know, and they do have a lot of pull-through sites. But the uh, the bathrooms and showers were real clean, real roomy, pretty pretty spacious showers and bathroom areas. Outside of the park, there's there's a ton of stuff for kids and adults. We went to a uh, arcade room, just huge arcade with my grandson. They had uh, all kinds of stuff out there to do. They had water parks that you could ride a bicycle to right there just outside of the park. And uh, they had, uh, you know, parasailing. I said jet ski, they had jet skis. Just, you know, a ton of stuff in the area. They had a jet boat ride where we're gonna do, just ran out of time, you know. Like I say, you need to plan at least a week, you know, if you go down there and stay, because there's just so much to do and it's just such a beautiful area. Uh, the nightlife for the adults, you have Floribama Club. We went there and ate supper one night. They have the Hangout, which is downtown there. You know, live bands right there on the street corner. I mean, it's, you know, you can walk up and down the street and see the band playing. Just a really fun atmosphere, really fun place to be. You know, lots of shops. You have the Tangler 
mall. Uh, I guess it's probably six or eight miles, maybe 10 miles away. It's not too far. We went out there and shopped a little bit. Just a ton of stuff. I can't even name everything. Uh, but we will be back and uh, I promise you, I will get some video of the RV park that time, the next time. We really had a great time, had a blast. We will be uh, headed back soon and uh, do it again. See y'all next time. that watch the channel it's gonna be a fishing video it might be today of my grandpa going fishing and here in LA yep, it's maybe. gonna try and catch a big catfish or something if you ever go to Lulu's make sure you reserve ahead on the internet because they are packed around five